Banking touches every part of our lives, whether we're checking a balance, paying for an online purchase, or arranging a loan. We expect the same seamless, secure, and personalized experience. So it's no surprise to hear that delivering a great digital experience is a top priority for today's banks. In terms of digital transformation, this is the tip of the iceberg, the bit we all see. Below the surface, there are seismic shifts happening as banks strive to compete more effectively in the dynamic digital world. To look at this in more detail, I am joined by Falk Rika, Global Head of Banking at SAP. Falk, you're talking to banking customers all the time. What would you say are the main strategic priorities for banks at the moment? Yeah, you know, I've just come back from, from a meeting where I met with customers all around the world and um, you know, it is very clear that banking is in full transformation mode. There is a kind of digital tsunami going on out there and uh, banks are facing digital transformation in all aspects. So when I talk uh, to banks, you know, four strategic priorities are always come up. First of all, customer experience. Yeah? This is something they have to improve uh, from what they have done in the past. They need to be where the customer is and in digital age, this is on any device at any time. The second piece is operational efficiency. When you think about the digital world, there will be many new competitors. Many new competitors that are not necessarily only banks, they can be non-banks as well, and they come with a different legacy much leaner cost structures, so therefore operational efficiency top of mind. The third thing, data-driven intelligence. Banking will become more and more a data-driven business and not only managing data, but a lot about data insight, which leads us to customer experience again. And the fourth topic, we are still a uh, regulated industry, so financial insight and risk control remain top of mind as well. So these four topics are really at the, at the, on the agenda of every executive uh, I speak to. How are different banks approaching digital transformation? I see banks that do a digital transformation mainly on the front end to drive customer experience. I see banks that drive digital transformation around their operations. For example, their call banking platforms. I see banks that drive digital transformation around the office of the CFO, financial finance transformation. And I see banks that drive digital transformation when it comes to the entire data management. Can you share some examples with us? The first one, let me start with uh, Lloyds Bank, a customer of ours that implements a new digital platform for their large corporate customers to provide a new experience around cash management. They've implemented a solution that is very much around customer experience focused and they do it with analytics, with self-services and obviously new innovative products. They increase the customer experience tremendously. They increase their win rate of net new customers. This is exactly what the outcome needs to be when you think about customer experience. The second example is Rabobank. And Rabobank is optimizing the lending platform. They want to have an end-to-end -end automated process for lending from origination, servicing to accounting. Third example. Discovery Bank in South Africa. And this is very much around data-driven intelligence. Their whole business model relies on data. They are the first behavioral bank globally, and they look at your financial behavior, and this financial behavior will show them as well in the financial score you get, and ultimately in the dynamic rates you get from the bank. They combine it with a very sophisticated rewards model, which includes a whole ecosystem of companies like hotels, travel, and other companies that can contribute to a better experience for the customer. So this is a highly data-driven business model. And 
wouldn't be possible if you don't leverage the new in-memory technology. And the last example I want to bring to the table here when it comes to digital transformation, think about the office of the CFO. Think about the companies that process a large amount of data. Think about companies like PayPal. PayPal is operating in more than 200 countries. They do online payments in more than 25 currencies. They have 295 million active accounts. And they do this year more than 10 billion payment transactions. So when you think about this global expansion, you can think about as well what it means from a transformation aspect and uh, what challenges come with it. So four examples where we help, uh, help our customers and where we help banks to become digital platforms that differentiate via customer experience and data-driven intelligence. We're hearing a lot about artificial intelligence and machine learning and banking. Falk, what technologies do you think will play the biggest role moving forward? Everyone wants to hear from me which technology is the most important one. I have to say it's the combination of the technology. There's not a single silver bullet, uh, if you want. Uh, it's always the combination of what you do with technology and how you embed it in the business process. When we look at what the new financial system will look like, there are three things we have to keep in mind. First of all, it will be a low-touch environment, meaning highly automated. So when you think about the technologies, AI, robotics, other technologies that really drive the automation, machine learning falls in that category as well. So this is one aspect automating processes, taking out manual efforts and interventions as much as possible. The second piece is around personalization. Customers expect a personalized services. When we speak about the experience economy, it's not good enough just to fit, provide a product that fits everyone. It needs to be a personalized product. So personalization based on data insight is a big, big topic. And the third piece is the data-driven intelligence. So everything we will do in banking going forward very much relies on data insight. You see that very, very good as well when you look at the profiles banking are hiring. Number one profile bankings are looking for data scientists. So when you put it together, highly automated, personalized, and data, those are the key things that will drive the new financial experience. And the technology that goes along with it really include everything. It includes artificial intelligence, things like machine learning, blockchain, uh, IoT, uh, big data, any kind of predictive analytics. The key is always to take a look which piece of technology makes most sense in the different business processes. Thanks, Falk. Uh, now let's introduce Andy Mikesell, Banking Solution Manager at SAP. Andy, do you have any examples of how these intelligent technologies have helped a traditional bank transform itself? Sure, let me share with you a bank in the Netherlands, Rabobank, who's using intelligent technology on their loans processing. Rabobank had a very inefficient manual process for their loan applications. Once the loan was submitted, it was usually weeks before it was processed. It was very frustrating to the users. RoboSat to do straight through processing of these loans and really required uh, SAP systems to make this happen. Using machine learning and artificial technology, they were able to automate 95% of the loan processing, which meant that the loans could generally be processed and approved at the time of submission. That's great, Andy, thanks. Here's what Bart Vloot, head of IT management at Robobank, had to say about the project. The end customer expects an instant loan. 
the SAP back office in combination with our online front office system helps us in, in providing that. Currently we are using SAP on the business side for retail mortgage loans and for business loans. We shifted from a throughput time of weeks in processing a mortgage loan to uh, a matter of hours. Customers benefit from a very fast service. It's very trustworthy. What they see when they get online, the information is correct. It's very reliable. Lives of our employees changed quite a bit. We come from uh, legacy systems servicing employees uh, mainly with manual processes. And now with SAP we run a STP factory servicing the end customer directly. So it's more from a reactive traditional IT management to a proactive approach. We of course are thinking on, on data analytics and also on predictive analysis for customers so we can help them paying their loan in time. The SAP Cloud Platform is very interesting for us to uh, open up to external parties. We are working on our strategy to get connected to third parties or uh, other platforms. And I think this offers uh, uh, very good uh, opportunities in that perspective. Also, we are thinking of a proof concept with Leonardo to further automate the exception handling in the operational processes. Leonardo could help us in the analysis on why exceptions are there in the operational process, why particular loans fall out of the STP process. And this algorithm can learn these reasons and automatically put them back into the system. Our relationship with SAP is, I think, currently shifting from a focus on delivering quality and, and getting into control on the current system from the first horizon to focus more on the second and third horizon. We're also getting our business partners more closely involved and connected to SAP. Well, that's a great example of some of the benefits that banks can get from applying intelligent technologies to their operations. We're still joined by Andy Mikesell. Andy, do you have any other examples you can share with us? Sure. Atlantida is a 100-year-old bank in Honduras. They have many old systems, that with lots of data silos that aren't talking to each other and don't share data across those silos. SAP and Atlantina worked together to create a comprehensive technological vision across those products to bring greater uh, productivity and greater data exchange to those applications. As our customers are converting into a digital world, we have to be there to serve them anytime, anywhere. Banco Atlantida is part of the largest financial group in Honduras. We also have operations in other countries. Banco Atlantida is a leader in how we treat our customers. It is a leader on the services offered. Therefore, we kind of set the pace for the country itself. The challenges that we face in a digital transformation are being able to support everything, the whole ecosystem that the bank has, to do it in a new manner, in a new business model that we call digital. The question was, who could walk with us? And we sat down with SAP, we looked at what SAP was doing for a financial services industry and their vision. And they had the right vision, not just in the sense of speaking digital, but in truly investing into it. Also, partnering with SAP is pretty much like a marriage. It was a strategic decision to walk with a partner who had our same vision. So in that sense, uh, marriage changes the way you make decisions, and so it has changed ours. We use BTS, Business Transformation Services. We have done our process end-to-end. -end. FSPER is a gold mine for bankers. What it does, it is an FTP engine, a funds transfer pricing engine, and an allocation engine. Because it's not just allocating costs, I can allocate also income. So we have profitability per branch, per officer, per segment, per product, etc. So it is a very powerful tool and it is a nugget that any banker would like to have. Another impact in our day-to-day -day operations will be once we have implemented success factors. We have done some pilots with some offices and they are thrilled. They are thrilled with the self-service and some of the options that they have. They really feel digital. Our customers are starting to feel the benefits of our digital transformation with SAP. Concerning the omni-channel banking, they have also seen a transformation in our image that has been not just the online or on the phone. Partnering with SAP has certainly changed the way that we make 
many of our strategic decisions. Having day-to-day -day analytics and being able to go deep on them through our warehouse and FSPR, which are both on HANA, this has really changed the way that we manage our business. So transformation is the new normal in banking. Banks are taking a number of different routes to digital transformation and employing a range of innovative business models and intelligent technologies to drive success. Let's now hear how SAP is helping its customers embrace disruption in the industry and seize the new opportunities. Almost three out of four financial institutions say enhancing the digital customer experience was their top strategic priority in 2018, according to Qualtrics Research, which also shows more than half of customers who leave their bank say no effort was made to keep them. It starts with key trends and challenges. For example, banks are beginning to run more like technology companies than banks. They're developing a platformification business model that allows multiple participants to interact with each other and create and exchange value. Also, using data as a currency, banks can make predictions around their customers' life events as well as their financial needs. And the digital customer experience and consumer expectations around it have evolved far beyond balances, payments, and transfers. In response, banks are pursuing a bold vision to look and operate more like technology companies becoming digital platforms which harness data-driven intelligence and provide banking and related non-banking services. To help meet this vision, SAP is delivering an integrated suite with embedded intelligence on a scalable digital platform that enables banks to leverage back office operational data in coordination with customer-facing experience data. SAP is in the unique position to help banks use intelligent technologies to provide seamless connectivity, harness data-driven intelligence, enhance operational effectiveness, and improve financial insights and risk control. To get there, SAP provides a clear industry roadmap that you can use to achieve your vision and become an intelligent enterprise. Key players are already working with SAP. PayPal has streamlined its accounting and reconciliation processes while improving financial insights and risk control through a scalable platform, automation, and self-service analytics, linking interest rates to clients' financial behavior and utilizing real-time big data analytics, Discovery Bank delivers an E2E platform with fully digital customer servicing and a consistent multi-channel experience. With more than 14,000 banking customers in 150 countries, SAP is the clear choice. Please visit sap.com and search for the banking industry. So that wraps up our deep dive into the crucial importance of digital transformation in a rapidly evolving banking environment. A big thank you to all our guests and thank you for watching.